guys, it's Caitlin and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be talking about the new Wet n Wild makeup setting spray and I'm also going to be comparing it to a higher end makeup setting spray and this is the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. So I wanted to compare the two because this is $5 and this is $30. However, you get 1.52 fluid ounces in this little guy and you get 4 fluid ounces in this one. So um, I did the math. My boyfriend did the math. And if you had four fluid ounces of this guy right here, this would be 15, about $15, $13-$15. So it's about half price because it's unfair to compare the two um, because you don't get the same amount of product price wise. So if you had fluid, four fluid ounces, it'd be about $13, $14. $15. I hope that makes sense. So um, I'm going to play you guys a little clip showing you the two sides of my face. I want you to tell me which side you think is better. So let me know in the comment section below which side looks better, my right or my left side of my face. Not your right or left, my right or left. So let me know down below. So I already filmed up my first impressions, kind of first impressions of it. So I'm just going to jump into that clip. So let's do this. Oh, I have to take the sticker off. <laughs> okay, what I'm trying to understand here is what do the little tick marks on the bottle mean? Why is that there? I don't, like there's little tick marks. Like is that relevant to anything? We're gonna test the spray first before we put it on our face. That's pretty, that's very like fine. It's got a really, it's got a really nice smell. It actually kind of reminds me of this smell. They both have a really nice fresh smell to them. And I'm actually very impressed with the the misting quality of that one. Like, that's really nicely fine. I don't know how effective this is going to be, but... Wow, very glowy. So that's just one side done. I'm not going to lie, the, the mist when I put it on my face, it didn't evenly spray. It was kind of like patchy, um, so whatever. So the mist is much more finely... Um, evenly put on the skin. So we're gonna let those both sit for a minute. So um, I just want to point off that right off the bat I don't notice any smearing or smudging of my eye makeup on either side. So that's good. Yeah, I mean I look super dewy and glowy which is good because I am so dry. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm actually very impressed. I like the way my skin looks on the Wet n Wild side. Yeah, I think it looks good. Both of the sides feel, they feel pretty much the same. I really am enjoying the Wet n Wild one. I really do enjoy it so far. I cannot tell a difference sitting on the skin. Like I said, the mist was a little off, um, but whatever. I mean, I could always like pour this stuff into here if I wanted to when this is out. So whatever, it's not a big deal. So I will check up with you guys later throughout the day. We're gonna see which side looks better, honey. And then we're gonna compare the two and do our final thoughts at the end of the day. So I will see you then. Hey guys, it's later in the day. It's like four o'clock. It's been like three hours since I filmed. I cannot tell a difference between the two sides of my face. Like I know this lighting is not the greatest. Hold on. I think both sides actually look really good, so I cannot tell a difference. I think both makeup on both sides still looks equally as fresh as it did when I put it on, so nothing much to update you other than to just kind of show you what it looks like. Um, I will check in with you guys later. Hi guys, um, so it is about 8 o'clock. I don't know where my phone is, so you're just going to have to trust me on that one, but here I'm going to try my best. I know the lighting is so bad usually when I do the, uh, these updates because I don't want to set my lights all the way back up. But this is the Wet n Wild side, and this is the um, Urban Decay side, and I honestly cannot tell a difference. I asked my friend who's over, and she's like, I can't tell a difference at all. Your highlight looks better on this side. So that's like the cheaper side. Um, so I honestly cannot tell a difference. My skin, um, my blush, and my bronzer have faded a little bit, but on both sides, like I honestly do not see a difference at all. So that's really great. My final thoughts is that I like it. I think it's absolutely worth trying for five bucks. Um, I'm going to continue to use it and test it out and see if it works. And so far, I'm very impressed. I'm excited because that means I can save money. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want you to know that beauty is in everything. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!